brother, money, just give me a ton of money. I don't need assets. Okay. I need to move fast, smooth. I need to know the guy that owns 50 jets, that owns 50 things that'll let me use them at cost because I hooked them up with whatever, whatever, whatever. And that's what your net worth should be measured by. How many people can you call up and be like, yo, can you wire me a million? I'll send you, well, I, I'm good for it. Oh, you don't have those friends? I do. So I can tell you it's real. Oh no, there's no way that, that's because you're a peasant. In, in, in due time, shut the up, be quiet. Think more than four seconds before you speak. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Listen, maybe I'm not wasting my time here. Maybe I'm trying to teach you something that's good for you. What do you consume? Like what music do you consume? Do you watch movies? Like what are your inputs? Uh, nature. No music? Rarely. I like, uh, there's a playlist by the, the movie, The Pianist. Mm -hmm. Fire soundtrack playlist. I have that on repeat almost every single day. Then just lo-fi chill stuff that puts me into uh, a flow state. Nothing crazy. Uh, no bitches. Music. No, no rap. No rap music. I listen to rap music, but I'm very selective on the songs. I'm very selective on the messaging. I listen to the lyrics. I'm very aware of of, of the words that are that are mentioned. Um, and then I like there's some remixes and stuff like that, old school rap that I'll tap into sometimes. But super selective movies. Rarely, I think I watched two movies in the last two years and they were kind of intentional. You know, we were in Dubai. We went to go watch the new Avatar movie, which was, was like a $2 billion dollar budget. And this was after the Argentina World Cup win. So it's like ultimate ecstasy. What's going to be it? Well, you're going to go watch Avatar. <laughs> so we book out the entire theater and within 20 minutes, we we're just like, ah, f it, we're out. Like, another, I don't want to see the blue characters out here running around, like whatever. And... Yeah, not a big movie guy either. Uh, very introspective, love books, love reading, uh, and love exploring on the internet, honestly. There's a, a lot of good good information, a plethora of, of archives to de dive deep into. And yeah, just focusing on leveling up my body as well, becoming intuitive with that, intuitive with the food that I consume, and just having a lot of self-conversations about uh, what I want to become. And yeah, just enjoying the process. He was playing Spanish guitar when I walked in. Yeah, so. <laughs> Can confirm. So, okay, so we've been talking for a while. Let me ask you this. If I'm a random person watching this video, right? Luke Belmar uh, told me my inputs should be good literature, right? I need to eat well. Um, I should stop watching all these bullshit movies. Uh, maybe not listen to as much rap music. What are like some tangible inputs, right, that I can go find r right now that regular people have access to? Because you're on a journey, brother. Super, yeah, okay, right? so super basic right now. One, go get spring water. Don't drink Dasani purified water. It's going to fuck you up. Number one, right? This is super essential. Two, once you have a little bit of money, start eating super clean, super organic. Understand that the food that you consume has pesticides, has chemicals. You want to be eating uh, nutritious whole foods, not processed foods, not garbage. Uh, you do not want to be using Teflon pants. They have forever chemicals. It's known this to be extremely true. poisonous. So get a cast iron. It costs you $20. Buy the cast iron. If you have an air fryer, don't use a microwave. Microwave, you're literally cooking your food. You're cooking, killing all the, all the, all the good stuff in there, all the vitamins, all the minerals. It's completely killing the food. You're literally nuking it to just warm it up. So don't use the microwave, microwave period. Uh, don't drink sodas, don't drink Gatorade, don't drink any of this shit. Water and sometimes organic coconut water, super good for electrolytes. Add some chlorophyll in there, add some lime, some sea salt, Remineral remineralize your water if, if you put it through a reverse osmosis system. I'm giving you the whole rundown here, my G. Uh, neglect bullshit music, neglect uh, celebrities. Don't give a f celebrities, they're just dirt peasants with fancy chains and fancy music videos when you meet them in real life they ain't that special um so don't have like this hero kind of perspective towards people even ourselves understand that everybody is human so that you don't have to be so harsh on yourself with false reality and false expectations of how the world works exercise find good friends good relationships people that uh, are positive and that have their your best interest in mind and that are willing to support you on your journey, but also challenge you to level up. Never lie to yourself. Be honest on where you are and know that at any time you can control the outcome of your life if you choose to. And I think that if people take these principles I've mentioned in the last three to four minutes, they're going to have a phenomenal 2023. Mm, I like the action items. My last, last topic.
the, and because it, it relates to what we've been talking about this whole time and everything is related. How you, how you feel, how you think is related to what you eat, is related to your inputs, what you consume. Increase the quality of the inputs. There has been in the last, I don't know, however many years, what the um, American media, or I suppose global media, labels as a mental health crisis, right? And as we sit here and talk about controlling how you feel, what you do, right? I'm curious to get your perspective on, you know, not only why so much of the world feels this way, but how you think about mental health in general. Do exactly what I mentioned in the previous four minutes. If you have mental health issues, do it for 30 days and then let me know if you feel better. That's it. The habits, the things that I've told you are designed to make you have a better life. For example, food, right? Did you know that there's a happy chemical that is produced in your gut, 95% of that chemical, it's called serotonin, is produced in your gut. If you have a healthy gut, you're going to have a healthy mind. You can program your body to be healthy by ingesting and having a healthy gut. The other 5% is generated in the brain. So what would I tell myself? If I want to produce happy chemical, I got to eat right. So do the things that I mentioned in the last four to five minutes. Test it for 30 days and then let me know if it's good. Or if it's not. My G. <laughs> it, it is true. And isn't it, isn't it convenient how some of the most simple life principles are never mentioned to, to us? I, none of these, these are all things I've learned in the last three years independently. Gut health is connected to mind health. Habits are connected to how I feel. And if I can begin to establish my identity and understand who I am, I can become, I was about to say a better person, but I think you would tell me a man who lives by his principles and the best version of yourself. I become closer to me. Luke, I appreciate you, G. I appreciate you, bro. You, it's been a good session. You spread wisdom as always. I think, um, I think, I hope at least this will be a very, very valuable experience. For it's going to be a very soon. valuable experience. We're going to do it again. Hopefully you join us in Switzerland when we go shred the slopes over there. Tomorrow we are hitting the snow, the snowmobiles. And then we're going to we go are. shred. We are? 100%. Okay. Uh, we don't do this peasant. <laughs> The mountains the fuck bro when we come out here if i'm coming all the way from puerto rico and i have to do two flights to get here dude we're going all out all out that's how we vacation bro luke belmar flies first class right yeah bro sometimes <laughs> if you're inside europe bro have you done europe trying to move around inside of europe it's the worst it doesn't matter if you book first class they have these like cheap budget air things it's the worst inside of europe bro i i so that's the exception right there. I, and I say this very, as respectfully as possible to the, the conference who, who booked my flight last time I, I went out to Europe. <laughs> I, I flew, uh, fuck, I don't remember what it was called. Anyway, basic economy in, I don't remember what the airline is called. It's a red logo. It's some worst flight of my life. The point is, it's the worst eight hours of my entire life. It's the life. worst, bro. I hate traveling in Europe. I love going to Europe. I hate flying around Europe. It was a I terrible agree. experience. We're gonna start having to PJ around Europe. So that's the next goal we gotta get. It. Just like the pirates used to, I think our entrepreneurs are very much like pirates. They're kind of on their quest for freedom. We need our own ships. No safety net. We need our own ships. Ships in the sky. Well, they say that- Pirates. You, you know this better than I do. Wait, wait, you know this better than I do. They say after 20 million, not that much changes in life, unless you wanna buy a private jet or a yacht. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah. Do you own either? No, bro. No chance. Why would I own two headaches? I so, will literally pay, I will pay somebody to lend me their, their headache for a few hours. Brother, money. Just give me a ton of money. I don't need assets. Okay. I need to move fast, smooth. I need to know the guy that owns 50 jets, that owns 50 things that'll let me use them at cost because I hooked them up with whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm his daughter's uh, whatever at their wedding. And I build good relationships and good connections. Dude, the, the, the entire world is built off of connections and relationships. All these politicians, they don't want that. They're riding around on the, on, the, on the people's money, brother. So you don't have to own a jet to ride in one, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll share, we'll share a, an aerial ship. Okay, soon. okay. I'm sorry. I know I said it, but yeah, I have like, wait, we got to have one more thing. Okay, go for it. You said earlier, you said, because camera wasn't on, you said, I believe you said access is wealth. Mm. Explain that quickly. So access is, people think, hmm, 
people think that your net worth is determined by the amount of money that you have. So when you have a philosophy that your net worth is simply measured by the money that you have, then you have a scarcity mentality. Your net worth should, you, should be measured by the amount of access to money that you have. The people that are running the Federal Reserve and running the highest levels of banking, for example, they are the richest guys because they, under, they administer the money. They control the money supply. So they can direct the money wherever they want it. It doesn't matter how much you're worth. What matters is how much access to money do you have? And that's what your net worth should be measured by. How many people can you call up and be like, yo, can you wire me a million? I'll send you, I'll, I, I'm good for it. Oh, you don't have those friends? I do. So I can tell you it's real. Oh no, there's no way that, that's because you're a peasant. You don't understand these things. In, in, in due time, shut the up, be quiet. Think more than four seconds before you speak. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Listen, maybe I'm not wasting my time here. Maybe I'm trying to teach you something that's good for you. Anyways, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, just gotta level up, bro. Maybe we'll get a jet, maybe we don't. It's been a good session. Yeah, fuck the it. Chef, the chef gave us a nice little organic vegetable soup. We had the best oysters. One of some of the best were, oysters I've ever had. They were pretty good. All organic spring water. Maybe, dude, it'd be fire if we if we uh, do this again in uh, Switzerland. We will, next time we'll be in Switzerland. And I can fire. tell you, there will not be a plastic water bottle in sight. There's not one here either. I tried to drink tap water earlier. He picked me up on my <laughs> No, no chance, no chance. But hey, my G, Luke Belmar, everybody. Thank you so much for coming Appreciate on the channel. Time. Thank you to the man behind the camera. That's it.